You know, at some point when it comes to Izzy Garcia, aka Dino Fury Green and Cosmic Fury Green, I grown to love her a lot because when she first burst onto the screen, her voice and the way she fights and Tessa Rail's acting became my favorite ranger in Dino Fury because I just love this character so much. And honestly, when I first found out that she was gay, I had issues with it because I don't like when they put a genus in, you know, in certain shows and whatnot. But I feel like the more I thought about it, the more I was like, okay, I'm just, I'm just going to give her a chance to see what they can do with the character. You know, as long as it doesn't feel forced and needed, I think there's a possible chance that this show could get good. And by episode 13, they pretty much proved me wrong. And I was, I was surprised of how the story turned out. But yeah, I think for everybody that is hanging on Izzy because of her ripping the skirt because they wanted her to be female because she's a woman. Like, I had to break it to y'all, but not all lesbians and not all women wear skirts or whatever. So y'all can cut that shit out. So, we're gonna jump into this video and uh, let's get to it. The story arc of the 20 episode Cosmic Fury version was gonna have Izzy and Fern break up because Fern was getting tired of Izzy really? being too protective of her. Simon Bennett, the executive producer, actually confirmed this over Twitter, and that's probably the reasoning why this character, Izzy, is written so heavily in defense of her girlfriend. But this has honestly amazed me. The back. Wait, so you mean to tell me that? The original script was going to have Izzy and Fern break up because Izzy was being too possessive, being controlling. I mean, I can understand that, but damn, bro. Like, <laughs> if that really happened in Cosmic Fury, one can only hope they're going to probably get back together by episode 7 and 8. Maybe Fern becomes the Orange Ranger in episode 6 and her Izzy. I'm um, getting back to what I'm saying. I think for the most part, Izzy is my favorite ranger in Dino Fury and Cosmic Fury. If I would have known they're going to probably break up towards the finale, I think it's going to cause some backlash. But I'm glad they didn't do that. So this is really interesting to say the least. People and different YouTubers talking about awful and how annoying Izzy is. I mean, Izzy won here. It's a groundbreaking character, our first lesbian Power Ranger in live action, or at least official in a TV show, and people have turned on her so quickly and just seem to hate her in Cosmic Fury. And people just don't seem to care that Izzy is going through a very difficult time in her life. She just witnessed her brother losing his arm and going through a traumatic experience of that. Her friend that has been with them for a long time is now trying to kill them. He's been turned evil and is trying to kill her. And the leader that they all have been grieving for the past six months has come back to life somehow without really understanding anything about it and now is gone, is lost, and they can't find him. The other things that people don't think about is the fact that Izzy and Javi are the only ones who don't have their parents involved in this situation. You know, it would have been nice to see the parents see the rangers no it would have been nice to see their parents see their kids be rangers for the first time because i think they would have known why they've been gone all the time fighting crimes to protect new zealand from lozet and his minions but there was a scene where garcia there was a scene where garcia was talking to harvey and izzy and when he was asking harvey what happened to his arm and Javi was just letting him know that it's a bit upgrade. But instead of telling him the truth, they just still kept their Ranger identities a secret. But then again, this is Power Rangers. You know, they're not allowed to um, they're not allowed to reveal their secret identities. But I just want them to actually break away from that for once. 
So that is my opinion. Since they're 65 million years old, Ollie has Dr. Akana, his mother, who is helping the Power Rangers. Amelia found her parents, and Tarek is helping the Power Rangers. But Javi and Izzy are both having to keep this a secret. This is still something they have to hide from their family. And even at this exact point in time, Javi has the excuse of he's off recording a demo, and Izzy is the only one who can contact her parents. So she has to sit there and contemplate, what do I tell them about Javi? Do I tell them he's okay? Do I tell them about the arm? What do I do? This is all resting on her at the same time as having this whole life experience of going off to college that she's supposed to be prepared for and ready to go do. But she can't do it. Besides all of that, besides just how horrible and difficult of a time Izzy's going through, she's a Power Ranger. Power Rangers protect people. Why exactly. is that a problem? Why are people upset that Izzy is trying to protect Fern? Oh, because she's doing it in an annoying way? What, what do you mean? How is she being annoying? Fern is her girlfriend, and Fern doesn't have any powers. She doesn't have any way to protect herself. And Fern is a very happy-go-lucky type of person, but I think we can all agree that we've worked at place. I mean, to some aspects, I can understand why people don't like that Izzy was being too protective and controlling over Fern because Fern doesn't have the experience of being a ranger and yet she knows who Izzy is as the Green Ranger as well as everybody else is. But in episode six, when she becomes the orange, um, when she becomes the orange ranger, she pretty much shown everybody that she can hold her off. In episode six, when Fern becomes the orange ranger, she can pretty much show everybody that she can hold her own as a ranger but in episode seven when she was fighting the minions with a weapon they could turn into nunchucks it's pretty cool to see her fight alongside her girlfriend and and the, the rest of the dino rangers but i just wish we had more of fern backstory to, 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 to just give her a focus episode just one and maybe Cosmic Fury would have been great. Whether it's filler or a continuation of the art. But other than that, man, I still love AZ. I just hate the way they've written her ass, though. But it's not Tessaria's fault, so. Who come into a job and they're very disillusional. Is that the right word? Disillusional? They're very delusional with the idea of what this job is or how important their ideas are, or what people think they, you know, how important this new person is. And then they get into the job for a little bit, and they realize, oh, maybe it's not all it's cracked up to be. And they kind of learn their place. Fern is, like, ready to go. She's ready to help. But at the same time, Izzy is sitting there going, you need to pump your brakes. You don't have any way to protect yourself. You're going to get hurt, and I can't watch you get killed or lose a, a limb like I just witnessed with my brother. It comes down to the fact that Izzy really just has more experience than Fern, and she doesn't want Fern to get hurt. I don't know why. That's so bad. And what I mean by someone new at work who's a, a delusional is that Fern is putting herself in danger when she can't protect herself, which is really becoming a liability for the Rangers, not so much being helpful for them. And once we get to the point where Fern becomes the Orange Ranger, Izzy drops this instantly. She stops trying to protect her. She says, I know you got this. I would have done the same thing. She understands, but it's because Fern now can protect herself. She couldn't before. And the thing that really ticks me off about this whole thing and so many people saying that Izzy's horrible and she's annoying is that I refused for a very long time to let them use Dr. Akana to help them, even though they needed her. Why was it okay? Why was it okay that Ali could say, I don't want you guys having my mom in danger. That's not okay. All that type of stuff. But when it happens for Izzy, then she's annoying and just obnoxious and I hate her. She's terrible. But it's okay if Ollie does it because, you know, right. it's down to the fact that we didn't get a lot of focus episodes considering the season was so short. If we could have had an episode where Fern really understood or maybe had an episode before getting the powers where she What's went out and that was being a little too I mean, ambitious. And yeah. you What's not just saying that a few seconds ago? If we could have had one episode dedicated to Fern about being a Power Ranger and understanding the values of being a hero and just try to be the best Ranger that she can be. I was just saying that a few seconds ago. Flat on her face or almost got killed and just barely got out of there. And that really took a toll on her understanding that, oh, maybe this isn't just fun and games. Maybe I need to be more careful. 
And if there was also a character development for Izzy to realize that she has so much on her shoulders and that she's a she's nearing the point of breaking down, and maybe that could have been another thing that we could have focused on. But it was just such a fast moving series that we didn't get a, we didn't get to do that. I still love Cosmic Fury. I think it was great with what they could do with yeah. ten episodes. But those are the type of things. Since we didn't have that time, we have to read into these things a little more, think a little more clearly about what are these characters going through, and not just make quick accusations because I don't like the tone of that person's voice, or it's a girl and not a boy being protective, exactly. so I hate her. I, I don't think that's fair, especially for those who are saying, I want more gritty or mature Power Rangers. Well, you've got to be more mature about the way you think of it. You can't think of it as one-dimensional characters. You actually have to think about who these people are. I mean, yes, they are characters in the show, but they are representing human beings. They're representing people with feelings and emotions, and you have to actually consider that. Exactly. So don't just jump to, I hate her, she's annoying because she's a girl trying to protect somebody. You gotta actually have some facts to back it up. Izzy to me is a great character still. I think she was out. Now, like I said, I love Izzy, but I did not like how they written her in certain episodes from Dino Fury season one and two and Cosmic Fury as a whole. But she's still one of my top five Green Rangers of all time. Not because she's a lesbian or anything like that. It's just how badass she is as a ranger. That's just my personal opinion. Great. In Cosmic Fury, I don't think she did anything wrong. I think she was doing exactly what a Power Ranger does. She was a shining example of what it means to protect people and being a Power Ranger. So, that's my two cents on it. The original video will be down below. Like I said, at the end of the day, Cosmic Fury is a great show. It was a perfect way to end off the 30th anniversary the right way. Even though the finale was pretty questionable. But... That doesn't stop the show from being great because we had a season with no filler episodes and that's all we wanted since. But at the end of the day, Cosmo Fury is over. But Izzy is still my favorite Green Rangers of all time. Um, alongside Tommy, Joel, Trip, Cam, Bridge, Ziggy, maybe Mike, you know, it's just, the list goes on and on and on, but at the end of the day, Izzy is my favorite ranger, so I can care less what the haters think, let him stay mad. She's there for a reason. So, like I said, links to the video will be down below. Next video.